Hello my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kubuman. Today's video I will show you how to upgrade your 800G1, G2, G3 or even older models of HP Elite Desk 2 and i7 CPU. This is a really simple process and make sure you stick around and watch the whole thing because I don't want you to make any mistakes. And if you have any questions regards to this, I will gladly help you. So just keep that in mind. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to remove this lid, open the case up and see what we can have access to. And from here it's incredibly simple. Now that we've removed the cover, we can remove this cable that it's attached to the fan cover for the heatsink and the CPU itself. So this just slides out like so. We're going to remove this cable here in a second after we move this flap. This is just an air duct that we're just going to move like that. We're going to leave it like that as it is. Now we're going to remove the fan cover, which these clips you just push down. That's when it unlocks. And then we're going to remove the heat sink cover. I'm going to put that aside. We don't need that anymore. Now we're going to remove the P3 power cable that is attached there. And it's a simple clip. You just squeeze it like so. That, that's disconnected. And just in case you didn't see that, you press it like this, you squeeze it and you let it separate like that. And then you pull it. With the full access to the CPU heat sink and the fan, we're going to remove it with a flat head screwdriver like so. You can also use a hex type of uh, a screwdriver but you can also use this flat head. So I'm going to unscrew it just like this counterclockwise. I'm going to loosen them all the way out. You hear pop when it's released. Very simple guys, this is very simple. Just take your time. When you hear it pop, you can just kind of wiggle it out. This one needs a little bit more. And now we can detach our fan, CPU, CPU fan I should say. And it's simple as that. There's nothing to it. You just plug it in, plug it back out. And you can see that this one has thermal paste that's installed on there. So if you're, if you're installing a brand new CPU, you have to make sure, or reinstalling a CPU in general, you have to make sure you apply new, a new amount of thermal paste in between. You can see this one is actually pretty evenly distributed and this is all stock. This has never been changed. Now we have full access to the CPU and a zero force insertion lever. This is LGA 1151 for this type of CPU because this is a G2 model. So if you have a G1 model, uh, 800 G G1 Elite desktop, it's going to be 1150 socket. So just make sure that you do get that. There are links in the description for all of the models that you're using. And in case you have a specific model that's other than this, let me know and I'll find the CPU that was that is compatible with your computer because some of them are not supported by BIOS. Just make sure you'll ask me first before you do anything. With the zero force in first insertion lever there, we're just gonna press it down gently and we're gonna pull it towards ourselves to unlock it. Just take your time, release it slowly, push it up like that, and then push this aside. You can just drop it there, it's not gonna go anywhere. And to remove the CPU, you just gently grab it with two fingers. Once we have it up like that, <laughs> it's a bit tricky. Okay, 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 okay. I don't want to use any tools on this, so I'm just using a nail here to kind of pick it up from the edge, just to lift it up gently. Hope you can see this. And then I'm going to lift it out. You can see the pins are exposed. Don't touch any of these connectors. So whenever you get your new one, you would basically reinstall it in reverse order. Make sure these notches are aligned. You can see that there is a notch there. There's a notch on the other side, and there are notches on the CPU that you're putting in as well. So you can't really mess that up. Just make sure you take your time and you drop it in slowly. So once you get your i7 or whatever it is that you're upgrading to, because you may have an i3 you want to upgrade to i5, just do it in reverse order. You just drop it like that and you can gently drop it in there and then just kind of make sure it's in there. You can see there's just slight, slight movement there, maybe like a fraction of, of a millimeter and that's perfectly fine. We know that all contacts are in there. We're going to put the zero force insertion back in there. We're just going to lower it like that. You don't have to worry about aligning anything there. Once you pull on this like this, you see how it automatically aligns to it. 
You see that? Very simple. And then gently push it back down. Reattach the zero force, zero force insertion lever. I always struggle with that one. And then reapply your paste. Your thermal paste, usually just a gentle dab, or maybe right here, or you can do it on the heat sink itself. Now I'm just showing you how to do this, and of course you would apply the new thermal paste. So I'm just showing you how to do it and put it back in there, right? All right, and this is how you put the uh, fan back in. Make sure that the fan connector is closer to this side because the fan connection is right there. Put it back in, make sure that these pins drop in and they have screws. You can see that it has a thread in there. Let me show you. Maybe at this angle you can see it. It's actually threaded in there. There are no clips per se. They, they're just screwed in. Very simple. And now we're gonna put back our heat sink on. Put our heat sink back on I should say. And then we're going to take our time screwing it back on, this time clockwise. So just go a little bit here and then go crossways. A little bit there. You need to do a cross pattern. And then we're going to go this one here. What is that? About three turns. And then three turns here. And then got another three turns here. I mean, you can do as many turns as you feel comfortable with. Just to make sure that you do it evenly. So that way you have even distribution of the force on top of the heatsink. And now I should be feeling that it's getting tighter. And sure is. Just take your time. There's no rush. With this huge upgrade that you're getting, it's going to be great. Cross pattern. So that one's already a little bit tight. This one. This one, this one, and see this one's tight, this one's tight, this one's tight, and this one's tight. Now I'm just going to connect my fan back in there. I could have done that earlier, but that's okay, no big deal here. So I'm just going to connect the cable in there. That's that. And then last thing left to do is put our cover back on. Actually, let's do this before I forget. Makes it a little bit easier. I'm gonna put my power cable back on. I'm going to connect my P3, like so. I'm trying to get a good angle for you guys. I'm just gonna push it in, clips. I'm gonna take this underneath, put it back on there, and then you just gently push it down here. There it is, and it's clipped. You just kinda of make sure that these things are clipped in. And at now this time I'm just going to, well this can come down, doesn't matter. But I'm going to connect, route my cable like so. There you have it guys, if you have any questions I'm here for you. So don't forget to ask me. I will gladly help you with anything that you have, whether it's this or that. I have full video on how to do all of this. Whether you need to upgrade to a video card, more RAM, or anything like that. There will be links in this video, so check them out. And also for the proper CPU, there will be links in the description box. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye-bye.